Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Disturbing video surfaces shows New York abortion clinic assuring woman baby will be killed if born alive. With the issue of late-term abortions being debated in legislatures across the country, pro-life advocate Lila Rose shared an undercover video shot in 2013 showing a woman identified as a New York abortion facility worker promising a would-be client that a baby breathing following a procedure would be drowned. Rose, president of Live Action, tweeted on Wednesday, Our investigators exposed this New York abortion facility, which says they will put a born-alive baby in a jar of solution to drown her. They also say to flush the baby down the toilet or put it in a bag if she's born alive. In the video accompanying the tweet, a woman investigator can be heard asking what would happen if an aborted baby showed signs of life. The abortion facility employee answered, the solution would make it stop. It's not going to be moving around in the jar, she added. That's the whole purpose of the solution. The investigator then wondered if the solution was toxic, and was told it was. Later in the video, the two discussed what happened if the baby came out of the womb at home during the course of a two-day abortion procedure. Are you troubled by the removal of protections for the unborn? Yes no. Enter your email. Completing this poll entitles you to Conservative Tribune News updates free of charge. You may opt out at any time. You also agree to our privacy policy and terms of use. The worker instructed her client to flush it or put it in a bag and bring it back to the facility. According to the University of California San Francisco Benioff Children's Hospital website, two-day procedures are performed during the second trimester, 15 to 23 weeks, of the pregnancy. On the first day, cervical softening and dilating is performed with medication and small dilating sticks. The woman then goes home and returns the next day for the abortion surgery. Last month, New York took center stage in the push to remove protections for the unborn. On the anniversary of the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision legalizing abortion nationwide, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo signed the Reproductive Health Act into law. The legislation permits abortions up to the time of birth for the broadly termed health of the mother and revokes the requirement for medical care for babies born alive after a failed abortion, according to the Liberty Council. The law also decriminalized killing an unborn child in the womb in cases not involving an abortion. Democratic Virginia Governor Ralph Northam managed to make headlines while advocating for similar legislation in his state which ultimately was narrowly defeated by the legislature. Northam said if a baby were born alive under the provisions of the proposed law, the infant would be kept comfortable, while a discussion ensued between the mother and her physicians about whether to keep the child alive, according to CNBC. President Donald Trump spoke powerfully about the issue of late-term abortion during his State of the Union address this month, calling for Congress to take action to protect the unborn. To defend the dignity of every person, I am asking the Congress to pass legislation to prohibit the late-term abortion of children who can feel pain in the mother's womb," Trump said. Let us work together to build a culture that cherishes innocent life, he added. And let us reaffirm a fundamental truth, all children, born and unborn, are made in the holy image of God. Amen. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.